welcome to Everyday Happiness, where we create lasting happiness in about two minutes a day through my signature method of intentional margins, creating harmony between your to-dos and your priorities, happiness science, and musings about life. I'm your host, Katie Jeffcoat, and years ago, I was listening to a talk by child psychologist and author Lisa Damore about raising kids, and especially girls, and she talked about an analogy she had heard of that seemed so practical and so effective for kids and adults that I wanted to share this analogy with you, too. But before I get into that, please consider subscribing and writing a review for Everyday Happiness on Apple Podcasts or Amazon Flash Briefings so that we can spread happiness to others. Apparently, until you have about 50 reviews, it's really hard to get noticed in this busy world. So we'd be so grateful for you if you'd be one of our first 50. You'd really be helping us out, and there is a link in the show notes. But back to the glitter jar. Imagine you fill a jar with water and glitter, three colors of glitter, one to represent thoughts, one to represent feelings, and the other to represent behaviors. This jar represents your brain. The jar is like our mind, right? And each color of glitter represents something different in our mind. When the jars sit on the table, all the glitter just falls to the bottom and the mind is calm. So we wake up, we go to work, we do all the things, and the mind starts to swirl. The glitter starts to wake up too. We don't want the thoughts and feelings to go away or push them down in our body. We just want to be able to see clearly. When the jars like all shook up and emotions are high, we can't see clearly. We just can't think. So for adults, we also need time to calm down, to gather our thoughts, to have a moment and let the glitter settle so we can think clearly. And kids, because their prefrontal cortex is not fully developed, they literally don't think like we do, okay? So they really need time to think and calm themselves down before the neurons in their underdeveloped brain are, you know, like glitter and firing on all the cylinders. It's, it's just not the way that grown-ups process and they just, they're just not developmentally ready. So the next time you feel like out of sorts, take a moment and think of this glitter jar and let those emotions and those thoughts settle a bit. You can Google mind in a jar glitter and get tons of how to's on how to actually make your own jar and scripts to explain to your child how this works. So I hope this tip was helpful. Until next time, remember, kindness is contagious.